So Sakurai has secretly been working on the next Smash Bros since 2022. The Switch 2 may not actually be in full production, and sadly, the Prince of Persia Lost Crown team is getting disbanded for not meeting sales goals. It is an up and down, good and bad. Good morning, Mario. Good morning, Switch fans. We'll start off with the sad news, which is the P.O.P. Lost Crown team, who made a phenomenal game, reportedly being disbanded and their sequel not greenlit because the game didn't meet sales expectations. This is really sucky because that game is phenomenal. It started off as a pretty expensive 2D game for a lot of players, but it's dropped in price precipitously. There's been a lot of sales and I don't even care if it's 60 bucks. That is a phenomenal title and a game should not be docked because it's 2D. For a long period of time, all video games were 2D. And I know it doesn't seem like it's worth the money, but Metroid Dread and Prince of Persia Lost Crown are two phenomenal Metroidvania style games that both are deserving of a premium price point. And I just want to say my heart goes out to that team because they made an incredible game. It has nothing to do with their dev chops or their dev decisions. It just has to do with probably unrealistic sales goals. And unfortunately, a market that is more into buying skins for Fortnite than they are in buying an actually awesome 2D metroidvania type title but what's going on already it's zach from switch force we do have some really exciting news sakurai concluded his youtube channel with the final video and the big reveal is that a these videos were recorded like two years ago and b sakurai has been working on a game since april 2022 now he doesn't say smash brothers but guys do we really think nintendo would have this man this mastermind this maniac work on anything except the next smash brothers like, maybe he pitched a new Kid Icarus, maybe he pitched a new IP, but if we're being serious, every single time Sakurai gets drawn back into the Smash Brothers circle. And it would make a lot of sense that Nintendo would want to go full steam ahead on that title, because Smash Bros. Ultimate was insanely successful, and despite Sakurai previously saying, like, I don't know what more I can do than Smash Brothers Ultimate, I think Nintendo would probably need him to help usher in a new era of Smash Brothers, to help guide and figure out what to do with Smash Brothers after Ultimate. And it's interesting to me that he specifically uses the verbiage that he started working on a new game proposal as soon as Smash Bros. Final DLC came out, because to me a proposal sounds like he got a big idea for Smash Brothers, or Nintendo wanted to know how he could see the Smash Brothers franchise evolving in the future. He said that the game would not get underway until April 2022, so whatever he's been working on has been going for like 30 months, which is a long time. He says that assuming we're able to get it made, it should be announced sooner or later, which is pretty interesting. Could Sakurai be teasing that Smash Brothers might be something that's shown off or released in the early years of Switch 2? If Nintendo really does want to transition everyone to the Switch 2, there's two multiplayer games that everybody wants to play. Mario Kart and Smash Brothers. Getting those out early really helped bolster the Switch 1, and it wouldn't be surprising if Furukawa ordered his company to complete something similar with the Switch 2 and say, hey, get these multiplayer games out that everybody loves, that are fan favorites, and that encapsulate all the characters so then we can branch off and make all those games and gain popularity as we go. Smash Brothers is an evergreen title, Mario Kart is an evergreen title, and what else is Sakurai really doing? I mean, the dude breaks his promises all the time. He says he's gonna take better care of himself. In this video, he reveals that he was working from 8 a.m. till 2 a.m. Dude, he never takes a break. He always says he's gonna take time off. He says he's done with Smash Brothers and he goes back to it. In some ways, it's a bit scary that he's this committed, but in other ways, like, we are getting prime Sakurai all the time. I wish he'd take a bit more rest for himself, but the dude is a workaholic. He can't stop developing games, and all of these things combined together make me think that, yeah, Nintendo probably has him on the next Smash Brothers game, and I can't see what else he'd be working on, especially saying that immediately after completing work on Smash Ultimate, he started working on a new game proposal. It just seems like he is pointing us in the direction to connect the dots that, yeah, the new thing is Smash Brothers, and it's going to be announced sooner or later. Did anybody really think it was the end of Smash Brothers? No. Sakurai said it was the end of him on Smash Brothers, but I'm sure he could be easily coerced into doing it. The guy loves Nintendo. He honors Nintendo. And if Miyamoto, Furukawa, any of those people said like, dude, we really want you to make this, 
I don't think he could say no. So while the Sakurai YouTube videos are over, Sakurai is deep in the weeds of his next game, which has been in development for 30 months. That's a long time. Three or four year cycle for a game like that. I could see this thing coming out late 2025. Like holiday 2025 is not out of the realm of possibility. Probably more like an early-ish 2026 game. But hey, never say never. Sakurai is definitely cooking something Switch 2 related. And we'll have to see what it is. Hopefully on the sooner side rather than the later. But let me know in the comments down below if you believe Sakurai is on Smash Brothers for Switch 2, or do you think he's working on something else? I mean, I guess he could have a brand new bold game idea, but I feel like he would have said, like, I had this dream of this new idea. He's just like, I started my proposal after Smash Brothers. It'll start in April 2022 if it's greenlit, and then we'll announce it sooner or later, knowing that these videos would be pushed two and a half years after he recorded them, which is also just such good planning and such good foresight. The dude is a machine. I love you, Sakurai. We all love you. Get some sleep. What's not sleeping, though, is Switch 2 reveal discussion. As of this date, on October 22nd, 2024, we still have not heard a peep, but there's indications that maybe the system is going to come out later rather than sooner. According to a Fama Boards post, people have dug into the shipping data for components, and they're saying that, hey, the Switch 2 has not yet entered mass production. Some believe that based on what they saw, the Switch 2 entered mass production in August, two months ago. Looks like that is not the case. They're thinking that this is going to go into mass production very soon, perhaps as soon as Nintendo reveals the system publicly, and then they can get gearing up. But that does make a quarter one launch unlikely in the eyes of this person analyzing the data. Now, January, February, March probably was out of the question, given what we've already heard that, hey, Developers are being told April, May at the earliest, and that seems to be a better timetable given what Nintendo's got out there right now and how slow they are to announce this thing. Although Nintendo did utilize a similar October to March schedule for the Switch 1 reveal announcement and then release. All in all, this is insinuating that Nintendo may not release the Switch 2 until holiday 2025, but I don't think that's true, and I would pump the brakes on any sort of panic, specifically because Nintendo has no software after January and Donkey Kong Country Returns, which is just a port. If they were really planning on the Switch 2 being revealed late and released holiday 2025, they'd be giving us some sort of roadmap of what we can pre-order and buy. They would be letting their investors know, hey, don't worry, we've got plenty of games out and about ready to roll, and they just don't. The only thing they have dated is Mario & Luigi Brothership out in two and a half weeks, and then they've got Donkey Kong out in January, nothing in December, nothing in February, nothing in March. And by this point in the year, they typically have already discussed games that are coming out in that time frame. I think the Switch 2 may not be in mass production. Maybe they are waiting for it to be publicly revealed before they risk any sort of factory leakage, but I don't think this means a holiday release for the system. To me, I don't see how Nintendo can convince its fans that there's a full year's worth of Switch games to reveal and release in 2025. I guess they've done crazier things in the past, but why no software announcement thus far? Why no September Direct? If they were planning on needing another full year of Switch, they surely would have prepped us, prepared marketing, and definitely prepared game releases so that the schedule did not seem blurryly blank. It's only blurryly blank because there's got to be a big announcement on the horizon, and I still will stand true and knock on the bamboo wood of my desk to say, holy crap, Nintendo, I believe in you. Get an announcement of this new system out soon. Your investors meeting is on November 5th, and it doesn't inspire a lot of confidence saying, uh, Brothership is out in 48 hours, and Donkey Kong is coming in January, but it's not a new Donkey Kong, and it sure doesn't line up with the new theme park. So, uh, we don't know. That is a bold move, and one that would inevitably probably bring down the stock prices. So, fingers crossed, knock on wood, arms crossed, eyes crossed, all that jazz. A very rambunctious day for the news with Sakurai spilling the details on what he's been doing, which is uh, what he always does, develop and work himself to the bone. The Switch 2 potentially coming out later, but I think we're still safe for now. And sadly, the Prince of Persia team being disbanded. Ubisoft continuing to make mistake after mistake, and that company seems to need some sort of new ownership or new leadership to really get it back on track because they can do amazing work. 
They're just organized in what feels like an inefficient and unrealistic way. But let me know your take on today's topics in the comments down below, everybody. Thanks so much for watching. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay happy, stay positive out there. And in the meantime, so Witch Force, out.